How do I start living? How do I snap out of survival mode? And the first thing I want to address is we don't. We don't snap out of survival mode. In fact, we baby step. Sometimes it feels like we're crawling out of survival mode. And here is why. It's the same reason that like 90% of people who go on diets gain the weight back or probably just as high percentage of people who do like a 12-week fitness challenge all in don't make fitness part of their sustainable lifestyle afterwards because by default, survival mode means that our nervous system doesn't feel safe. We're in a state of fight, flight, or freeze. Things that help our nervous system to feel safe are predictability, a sense of control, and consistency. And so when we go like all in on something, when we make an extreme change really quick, well, we have just, we're inconsistent now and we have kind of destabilized any level of predictability. So even though we don't really get comfortable living in survival mode, it becomes familiar and our brain and our nervous system adapt to that. And so if you do anything that's too extreme to try to snap yourself out of survival mode, that's actually going to reinforce that you need to be in survival mode because you've just stripped yourself of any level of predictability. So how do you baby step or crawl out of survival mode? 1%, 1%, one choice at a time. What I do in a lot of my coaching is I help women see what got you into survival mode to begin with. Is it trauma? Is it chronic stress? Is it an external environment? Is it an internal thing? Thyroid, autoimmune, whatever. Then we start to pull at those things just one at a time. Okay, can we build in a little bit more movement? Can we take some inflammatory foods out of your system? What about meditation? We know that that starts to heal a brain in some of the same ways that trauma can kind of damage our brain. And so when it comes to moving yourself out of survival mode, it's a little bit of an experimentation. It's a little bit of trial and error. And here are some of the research supported things that we know help to create a sense of safety. Routine, go to bed, wake up as consistently as possible. Getting yourself seven to eight hours of sleep a meditation practice or breath work of some sort, a movement practice, getting sunlight, looking at all of the chaos in your life and figuring out where can I let some things go, what boundaries need to be set, the negative self-talk or internal dialogue. How can I work with a therapist or a coach to clean that up? Are there any foods that I notice make my anxiety worse, my survival mode worse? Can I start to remove some of those? And in future posts, I'm going to dive into more details about some of these actual things. Um, So like and follow along, and I promise more is coming very, very soon to help you shift out of survival mode.